we got to get practical when it comes to the party season. You might be going to work and have your face on, and then you go out at night, and then things get a little bit messy. That's right. So we want to talk about makeup fixes. This is Michelle, our model. Yes. So we're going to talk about the quick ways to fix uh, whatever is smudging or running or moving where it shouldn't be. Right. Um, and the first thing I did want to mention is, so if you are in a situation where you can take advantage of your surroundings, do so. Which okay. means if you are at someone's home uh -huh. for a holiday party. Go through you, their cabinets. You go to the bathroom, <laughs> you go through their cabinets, and you find yourself a cotton swab, which will make your life so much easier. You're never coming to my house, you realize that, right? <laughs> I'm finding out what medication the whole family is on. Just kidding. The whole thing. So, um, so you would take a cotton swab, you would damp, uh, dampen the ends very lightly, and okay. I'm gonna have Michelle turn her head. We faked a couple smudges here. She did not come to the show looking like this. We made her like this. We did. So you would gently clean those up, and With this your is very swab. common. I mean, sometimes as soon as you put on it your happens mascara, to me it all drops, the time. right? It happens all the time. My eyeliner decides to go very transient and move all the <laughs> way down. I'd like it to go up, it moves down. Right. But it happens all the time. And who has the time to check your makeup every two seconds? Uh -huh. So you clean that up, and then, outside of this fluff, and then you pull out one of these. So and this is, is a highlighting marker or pencil or pen okay. or a concealer that comes with a brush attached. So this makes life really easy mm -hmm. and kind of adds that little extra glow that you might want for your look. This can remove any of them. Let's say you are not at someone's home. You are not rifling through their cabinet. Right. You can also use this to actually erase any of those smudges that happen to be there. It will work in tandem to help right. remove the color that's there as well as deposit a highlighter or concealer for you. What's cool about that is that it's just the application of it. Absolutely. Because we all probably have concealer or highlighters, but it's not in a pen. Exactly. So, so if you find a duo, it's your brush and your makeup in one, which right. makes life easy. Love and that. And then same thing for lip smudges. We're going to pretend we don't have a cute for this okay so all I'm doing is I'm basically using the um, brush portion of this yeah. as the eraser and it's depositing that highlighter for me oh cool and it's cleaning away that smudge and then all you would want to do is you would want to continue that highlighting mm -hmm. then all the way around otherwise you'll have one big spotlight in the corner right. but if you go ahead and do that you're also other big bonuses you're making your lips look bigger that's true. Yeah. But then I guess the key is also blend, blend, blend. Absolutely. Right? Blend it out. Absolutely. Really good tips, making it really easy. Good modeling, Michelle. 